Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 45 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial we're going to be doing a simple interest story problem. So basically we have $10,000 and we're going to invest it for one year. And then a portion of that $10,000 we'll say was invested at a rate of 6%. And then the rest of the $10,000 was invested at a rate of 11%. So if we know that at the end that the total investment is worth $10,970, so that's after a one-year period, how much was invested at each rate? So basically, we're taking this $10,000 and we're going to invest a portion of it in 6% interest rate and we're going to invest the rest of it at the 11% rate and at the end, our total is going to be $10,970. So the interest that we have at the end of this one year is basically going to be the difference of these two numbers. So if we have 10970 at the end, we started with $10,000, we have an extra $970. So that would be our interest. That's how much we made in interest off of our principal, or our base amount, was the 970 So our interest is $970 for one year. So now we just need to figure out how much do we invest at each rate. So we'll just make up some variables here. We'll call P1. We'll call that the, the amount invested at 6%. And we don't know what that is yet, so that's going to be X. And then we'll do R1, which is going to be the 6%. So the 1 corresponds with the 1. This is the amount at 6%. So P2 would be principal 2 or the amount of money we invested at the second rate. So P2, we know we started with $10,000 total and we're going to use some of it to invest into the first 6% rate. So the rest of it we're going to invest in the 11% rate. So P2 has to be 10,000 minus the amount that we invested in the other rate. So that way that accounts for the entire $10,000. And, of course, R2 would be the rate that corresponds with principal 2, which is 11%. So now that we've got the variables defined as much as possible, we're just going to basically plug them into the uh, simple interest equation, which is interest is equal to principal times rate times time. Interest is equal to the amount that we start with multiplied by the rate of investment multiplied by the time that it was invested. So... Let's go ahead and just set up our variables this way, and we know that t is equal to one year for both. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at two different terms here. We're going to look at the basically the amount, the p1, that we are going to invest at the 6% rate. We're going to multiply that by r1, which is 0 0.06, and we're going to multiply that by t1, the time invested, and that's just going to be simply be 1. And this is basically going to give us the interest that we made on that first chunk of money, the amount, the amount invested at 6%. And then we're going to add that to P2, which is 10,000 minus X, multiplied by R2, which was 11, or 0 0.11, 11%, 0 0.11, multiplied by the time invested, which was one year. So here we have P times R times T, which is the interest that we made off of the first investment, plus the interest we made off of the other chunk of investment. And we know that the total investment made us an interest of $970. So the interest off the first chunk plus the interest off the second chunk equals $970 total interest. So now we just have a simple algebra problem to solve here. So I'm just going to rewrite this a little bit. 0 0.06 times x plus 0 0.11 times 10,000 minus x. So I just rearranged the terms a little bit to make this look a little cleaner. And that's equal to the total interest at the end, which is $970. So now we're just going to distribute this into the parentheses here. So 0 0.11 times 10,000 is going to be 1,100. And then we're going to distribute that into the second term. 0.11 times a negative x is going to give us minus 0.11x equals 970, and then picking up this other term right here is 0 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take 0 0.06 and subtract 0.11x. We're combining these two like terms. And that gives us a result of negative 0.05x plus 1100 is equal to 970. So now we're going to move this term to the other side. So the way we do that is we just subtract it from both the left and the right hand side. So we'll just go ahead and do that real quick. So 1100 minus 1100 is 0. 970 minus 1100 is going to give us a negative 130. So a negative 130 is equal to negative 0.05x. And so now if we just simply divide each side by negative 0.05, then we have negative 0.05 divided by negative 0.05 and negative 130 divided by negative 0.05. The negatives cancel in each case, and the 0 0.05 over 0 0.05 cancels, leaving us with x on the left-hand side. So we just have 130 divided by 0 0.05, and that equals 2,600. So x is equal to 2,600, basically. So let's just go ahead and write that down here. x equals 2,600. And this is dollars, so I'll go ahead and write that down to $2,600. So X, remember, was the amount invested at the, the ones correspond with each other. So X would be the amount invested at 6%. So we have $2,600 at 6% interest. And then P2 would be the amount invested at 11%. So 10000 minus our X, X was 2600 10,000 minus 2,600 is going to give us $7,400. And that would be at the other rate of 11%. So that is our solution right there. So if you start out with $10,000 and you invest it for one year and you invest $2,600 of it at 6% and then you invest the other $7,400 of it at 11%, at the end of the year, you will have $10,970 and will have made $970 in interest. So anyway, thanks for watching today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for some more tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra series. Have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.